Don Watson. We're at the State Road Covered Bridge in Monroe Township. Uh, today is Saturday and it is October 12th. It's the first day of the Asheville County Covered Bridge Festival. Uh, this is the 30th annual and this is the 20th year for the Watson, John Watson Sr. family and friends to be at this bridge and every year we raise money for different nonprofit organizations. Past four years we've been raising money for the Regional Cancer Center in Erie and it was brought to my attention that we have a young lady here who has been receiving treatment at the Regional <laughs> Cancer Center <laughs> the Regional Cancer Center in Erie and so we wanted to introduce her and she wanted to say some things I guess in, on behalf of the Regional Cancer Center as far as the benefit and, and what benefit she's getting from the Regional Cancer Center. So first you want to tell me again your name? Bonnie Barnum. And Bonnie where are you from? I'm from Conneaut. Okay Bonnie came down here with a friend from Conneaut. Uh, she was uh, uh, is acquainted with my wife and her place of business and she was uh, talking that uh, through my wife, she found out about the Regional Cancer Center, I guess, is that correct? Yes, through Kathy Watson. And uh, you said that you were getting some help from the Regional Cancer Center and... Yes, I've been taking chemo through the Regional Cancer Center and they are so wonderful. Uh, they treat you like a queen. Uh, every time I go in to get chemo, the first thing they do is they get warm blankets, they make sure you got something to drink and eat and before they even start your chemo. And you can get so much help from them. They have helped me so much as far as paying medical bills and uh, food and whatever you need. And how long have you been getting chemo through the Regional Cancer Center? Since May. And how are you doing on that? I'm doing great. Uh, hopefully, uh, the 23rd, I'll be done, and they'll take the uh, pit line out of my arm. Good, good. Well, that's, we are, uh, again, we're here for the fourth year and raising funds, so I don't know when you'll see this video, but if you can stop by and visit, visit us, we have been doing benefits for the Regional Cancer Center for the past four years or you can uh, contact the Regional Cancer Center directly if you want to make donations to them. Well, thanks Bonnie for talking to us. Thank you very much and thank you to the Regional Cancer Center for doing so much for me. Alright, thanks a lot. My name is Randy Southern. And where are you from? I'm from Summerfield, North Carolina. That's about 10 miles north of Greensboro. And what time did you get here today? Well, we actually got here last night about 10.30. Uh, we left Greensboro or Summerfield about 12.30 yesterday and got here about 10 or 10.30 last night. We've been here on this site since before daylight this morning cooking stew. And what kind of stew is this? It's a Brunswick stew. It's, uh, it's something we cook down south uh, this time of year. It's uh, more or less a seasonal thing that most all southerners do down in the, in the winter time and when there's not a lot of insects flying around because you, when you cook these things you cook them in such big pots that you can't cook them inside your house so you got to move outside to cook them. So you wait until the weather cools down where there's no bugs flying and you, you go outside and you, you cook stew. And what's in your stew? Oh, there's a little bit of everything in the stew. There's chicken and there's beef, uh, onions, potatoes, corn, green peas, lima beans, uh, tomatoes, a little bit of everything. And is that a stick in your stew? That is a stick in my stew. This is a stick that I, I searched out that uh, around my house 
and I cut it especially for this. When I was a little boy, my granddad used to cook a stew, and he cooked the stew. He had a stick just like this. And the reason for the, the prongs on the end of this stick is when back in those days, everybody that cooked a stew cooked it. They used stuff fresh from the garden. I mean, everything that went in a stew, the potatoes, the onions, tomatoes, all the beef, the chickens, and everything were raised uh, around the house and on the farm. So the reason for this stick is when they cook chicken in the pot, they cook the chicken till it fell off the bone. And you could take this stick and actually pick the bones out of the stew. And that way you didn't have a lot of bones in your stew whenever your stew was done. And what kind of stick is this? It's a hickory stick, of course. And that's that, what gives it its flavor? Well, it, it helps. I don't know that it gives it all of its flavor, but it does help some. So, but yeah, and it's, it's more tradition than anything. Mm -hmm. Are you coming back next year? Hopefully. Uh, if this is a, a good turnout for the stew, and it seems to be so far, then yeah, maybe we'll come back next year and cook another one. Have you sold a lot of it? Uh, we've sold about uh, 12, 15 gallons maybe. So yeah, it's, it's been pretty good. That's a 20 gallon pot and it's half gone. So we've probably sold about 12 gallons maybe. It wasn't completely full. So next year you can come back with a bigger pot? Well, well, we'll see how much is left in this one. And if this one goes away, then yeah, we might bring a bigger pot next year. Uh, my name is Jennifer Owens. And where are you from? Conneaut, Ohio. And what do you have set up here today? Pink Zebra. It's a new company. It's two years old. We sell uh, sprinkles. We have over 50 fragrances. You burn them in your simmering pot or simmering lights, and you can also make a candle out of them or throw them in your kitty litter to make your kitty litter smell good or you can throw it on your carpet and vacuum it up and it'll come out your exhaust. And how long have you been doing this? Since May. Since May. Is it a very popular company? It has been. I am so shocked at the response and it's gone over very well. It's growing very fast. So what's your name? Jen Spencer. And how long have you been down here? Um, about five years. And what are you doing down here today? Um, selling some baked goods and trucker beans and um, pepperoni balls. And it goes to the Regional Cancer Society. Very nice. Have you had a lot of business? It's been pretty busy today. It's a really nice day. Good. So what's your guys' names? I'm Lois Watson. John Watson. And where are you from? From Kellogg'sville. Uh, Kellogg'sville, yeah. And what are you guys doing down here today? We're here with family, uh, raising some funds and having a good time at the Covered Bridge Festival, the State Road Covered Bridge. And how many years have you been down here? This is the 20th year that we've done this. And do you enjoy being down here with family? Yes, I do. And meeting all the people. Mm -hmm. oh, and what are you I'm doing? with family. With family? Yeah. Do you enjoy coming down every year? Oh, yes. Uh, do you meet a lot of new people? Yeah, you know, a lot of people that I hadn't seen for years. So what's your name? Sandy Southern. And where are you from? Oh, right now I live in uh, North Carolina. And what are you doing down here today? Came to join family at the Bridge Festival, and my husband's here with me. He made the stew, so we're trying to help uh, raise some money for the Cancer Foundation. Are you selling a lot of stew? We are. We started out with this all the way, almost all the way to the top, and now it's about halfway down. So it seems like a popular hit. People are enjoying it. Yeah. Do you plan on coming back next year? We hope to. Yeah.
name is Jose Villalobo. Oh, my name is Jose Villalobo, Alfredo Tomaso Vincente Lopez. <laughs> Senor, what else you want to know, Senorita? Where Como? are you from? I'm from planet Mars. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm from Ashton Beautiful. Ashton Beautiful? Ashton Beautiful, that's where I'm from. Saybrook. And what instruments do you play? Well, let me think. Got the mouth harp, got the violin, I got the mandolin, I got the banjo, five string banjo, six string banjo. Uh, what else did I leave out? <laughs> Stop showing up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. How about Roger? Oh, he should get Roger me. here. Get me. Roger here on the keyboard. Oh. Uh, Hi there. Hi, what's your name? Roger Wade. And are you from Ashton Beautiful? No, I'm not. I'm from uh, Rome the Beautiful. Rome, yeah. And what instruments do you play? I play banjo and guitar and keyboard mostly and uh, a little bit of a couple other things, but mostly that. Yeah. <laughs> and what brought you down here today? Uh, Mr. Watson invited us to come down and make a little noise for y'all. And do you enjoy doing this? I do. It's a lot of fun. Okay. More fun when nobody watching us so we can screw <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. What are you going to play for us now? Well, what are we going to play? Want an old one? Yeah, let's do an old one. We'll do Down Yonder. Down Yonder, that's a good old. Go down to Nashville and get on uh, Shotgun Ridge Road. Yeah. Shotgun Ridge Road, and that's what it'll be. Okay. Down Yonder, that's a good old. Yeah. Shotgun Ridge Road, that's what it'll be. Okay. Shotgun Ridge Road, and that's what it'll be. Down yonder, someone's beckoning to me. Down yonder, will I reckon I see? Seems to me I hear a haunting melody. Down along that Natchez on the Robert E. Lee. Swanee, sure, I love you more and more. Oh, my honey lamb, oh, now ain't she ground. Now down yonder, when the folks get the news. Down yonder, it's the hallelujah. Mammy and Pappy, Ephraim and Sammy, down yonder, waiting for me. here at Kingsville High. And what are you doing down here today? Uh, my family and I are having a big sale for the Regional Cancer Center. And do you enjoy being down here? I love it. I look forward to it every year. <laughs> and about how many people have you seen down here? Oh, I don't know. Probably a couple hundred. How many years have you been doing this? Um, well, my family's been doing it for 20 years. 20 years. And um, I've been here since I was born. Well, it's very nice to see you. I hope you come back next year. Thanks. Crazy for me. 
told you lately while I'm sleeping. from some old table, take the arms from some old chair, I don't think I'm gonna know all of this. <laughs> and from a horse you get some hair, take the hands and the face off of some old clock, and honey, when I'm through, I'll get more loving from the dumb dumb dummy than I ever get from you.
Take the legs from some old table. Take the arms from some old chair. Take the hair. Oh, wait a minute. And from a horse, we'll <laughs> get some hair. We put it all together. Do the nails and when I do. Well, I get more loving from the dum 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 than I ever got from you. Some old table, take the arm from some old chair. What's the next one? I take, got from a. Take the, something about a bottle. I don't know. The, I, neck. the one I know. Neck from, neck from a bottle, okay. Take the neck from some old bottle, and from a horse, you get some hair. Take the hands and face off of some old clock, and honey, when I'm through, well, I'll get more loving from that dum dum dum. Okay, we can do a polka. Now we've got polka people. <laughs> How'd you know? You ready? Sure. Uh, what are we doing? Let's do clarinet. Clarinet, is that G? Must be. Can I? We'll do another station identification. Station identification. We're still here at the Asheville County Covered Bridge Festival, 30th annual, and we're at the State Road Covered Bridge. And we have two gentlemen here who love to sing and play, and they've been singing and playing. And we have a young lady that has joined them. And let me sneak over here and just tell us again who you are. I'm Lois Watson. Lois Watson. That's my mom, because I'm Don Watson. And she joined us in singing with Roger Wade and Johnny Calpatty Fisher. Johnny Fisher. And if these folks that are watching enjoy singing and playing that you're doing, you are available at other places. We can be, uh, yes. Uh, I do work part time, so uh, I, my time is limited, but uh, you can give me a call at 563 3677. That's 440, of course. That's, that's in Rome. That's 440. 440-563-3677 is my home phone. That's Roger Wade. And what's the name of your... My particular one-man show is called Classic Country Keyboard, but uh, Johnny is part with a group called The Magic Touch. And he has uh, about four people. Sometimes. Four, four to five. Three. three to four to five mostly people. Three. And it's The Magic Touch Band. He's from Saybrook. 
Okay, and then you guys go out and play with a, a jam, kind of like you're doing? We have a jam session on Thursday nights right now uh, at the Rock Creek Fire Hall from basically start at 6, but we usually start around 5, 5. So, uh, and we go to about 8 o'clock, so it's Rock Creek Fire Hall in Rock Creek. That's on right, right on Route 45. Saturday, Saturday of each month, man show at uh, Crossroads Country Field from 6 to 8 p.m. And I bring that mic right there. I bring that extra mic and uh, invite people up to help sing. All right, your chance to be a star. That's right. And John, do you sing in Rock Creek also? or? I usually make it down there on Thursday nights. They tempt me down because this one lady makes me a lemon pie. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just people with similar interests like yours. You just oh, yeah. sit around and sing and play. And Bunch of old hillbillies just making noise. <laughs> but I think we're the only two down there that actually go out with a band. You know, he plays professionally, and we do a lot of shows. Yesterday was Bill out the lake. We do a lot of nursing homes. All right. And we're reasonable. As long as it's sweet? Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's lemon pie. Lemon pie. <laughs> <laughs> for the first day of the 30th annual Ashtabula County Covered Bridge Festival. Blue skies, warm temperatures, lots of visitors, uh, surprises when we got down here in a good way that uh, the parking area where we set up for the festival was uh, gone over. Someone had smoothed it and added stone. We are thankful for that. Someone had cleaned up some of the mess along the roads. We're thankful for whoever did that, a little bit of trimming that had been done those things we are thankful for, for whoever it is that did that. We're thankful for those that brought in uh, baked goods, for those that stopped by and visited. We're thankful for those that participated by uh, buying, donating, I should say, in exchange for those baked goods or for the food for Randy and Sandy Southern who came up from uh, North Carolina and made that stew and all the contributions that came in from that. We're thankful for their uh, effort coming up for the time that was spent here, the time traveling, and for the big difference that it made for those contributions. Thankful for Roger Wade and Johnny Fisher, who came and put on a little concert for us, and and uh, for the opportunity that my mom had to sing with them. Thank you guys for coming up. Friends who came up and visited, like Dad had said that he hadn't seen for a while, we're thankful Dad was able to get out, that the weather was good, for everyone who came by and said hello, visited for all the out-of-towners who came in, maybe for the first time, got to see a bridge. We're thankful for those who stopped by and talked for a while, those who just visited and hopefully will be back again. The day two didn't turn out as good as we would have hoped. Uh, it's been in the past that we have had one good day and one bad day. Sunday was not such a good day weather-wise 
and so it cut down on the visitors that came. It was cloudy, and as you can see, at the end of the day, it turned to rain, and so it wasn't such a good day, but uh, all in all, wasn't bad. We definitely enjoyed the first day. Uh, your donations brought our contribution up to $600 that we can give to the patient care grant there at the Regional Cancer Center in Erie. Uh, we also sold souvenirs to benefit the Covered Bridge Festival Committee. We're thankful for all those that uh, took part. If I didn't mention your name, I'm sorry. You know the contribution you made, and we appreciate you. And uh, if you can come back again next year, we would appreciate that. And if you are watching and you'd like to help out, get a hold of my mom or myself or somebody at the Covered Bridge Festival Committee office, uh, and uh, volunteer. We can use all the help we can get. Well, for the John Watson Sr. family and friends who spent the 20th year in a row at the State Road Covered Bridge in Monroe Township, we say thank you and see you again next year.